If you haven't voted yet, locals are preparing to put millions of dollars toward water infrastructure projects. They say this will help keep water clean and bring it safely in and out of homes and buildings. Local 22's Dana Casulo live in the newsroom tonight to tell us more on the benefits. Dana? Lauren, the director of Vermont's Water Investment Division, Neil Kamen, says Vermont will see around $400 million in federal funding for water infrastructure. A large amount of federal funding is still on the way to the state of Vermont to help municipalities build water infrastructure. Things like drinking water treatment, pipes that deliver drinking water to homes, um, pipes that deliver wastewater from homes back to wastewater treatment plants, and then wastewater and stormwater treatment. Neil Kamen is the director of Vermont's Water Investment Division. Through the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, it's otherwise known as the Bipartisan Infra uh, Infrastructure Law, there are going to be about $360 million of funding coming to Vermont over the next five years. There is a number of communities with big initiatives right now. Projects vary in expense and size. The city of Burlington is, you know, going after a fairly large bond again. Um, the city of Colchester is trying to fix uh, leaking, failing septic systems with a sewer line extension. The city of Virgins is an area where there is consistent overflows from the sewer. It has a large proposal. $25 million that would fix all of the pipes that go down to the wastewater system, that would disconnect all the street runoff from the wastewater pipes, and that would also rebuild the wastewater treatment. Manchester, Vermont's town manager, John O'Keefe, is hoping voters will approve several infrastructure-related articles on the ballot, including an expansion of their sewer system. The cost is $1.9 million. And so that'll be, uh, that will allow us to make a lot smarter um, uh, use of land in that particular area. For example, we won't be, um, as we develop that property, uh, we won't be taking up a lot of it with septic systems. It would run from near the town's new library north to Town Hall, where it would connect to a mobile home park. Cameron says residents should be curious and ask their local officials lots of questions. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dana Casulo, Local 22 News.